Hi all, this is Holly McKay with Smarter News. Just a little bit of an update here in Kiev. I'm in my hotel room. Um, you can certainly start to feel like things are becoming um, just a lot more dangerous, I think, around here. We woke up at 5 a.m. to some huge explosions this morning, and that was an apartment building uh, downtown that was hit. Um, the air raid sirens are going off pretty frequently. Um, and it's just feeling a lot different now. So I think um, as much as I think that Ukraine will be able to just sort of hold out the city, at least uh, land-wise, um, for a little while, I, I'm not so sure about what's going to happen with the air situation. So it certainly is becoming a little bit more of a precarious time. Journalists are being killed and injured and seems to be actively targeting. Uh, so it is that sort of point where you have to make a decision of how long... Um, it's sensible to stay in and, and as much as we're committed to the story that's always a challenge so that's something I'm, I'm sort of working through at the moment but but right now still in Kiev and I will bring you a little bit more about what is happening day to day here and a little bit of the the Kiev life so hopefully you can kind of understand a, a city that's very much on the the cusp of, of some kind of um, much broader conflict. People everywhere trying to leave before lockdown comes into effect at five o'clock today, which means no one is going to be able to leave their place in Kiev. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get out. There is really nowhere to buy any tickets. Um, so if that is the case, I will be here. If not, I will try to at least head a little bit northwest.